So you might think of Microsoft, you might think of Office products, you might think of productivity, but Microsoft is more than just home office or business solutions. So on Xbox 360, we've got over 300 titles, of which 200 are either rated E or T, which means accessible games, fun for the whole family. We've got two new titles that we'll show you here today. One's Viva Pinata Party Animals, which is a fun new social party game. The old one was more of a simulator. You had to create an environment on Pinata Island that would attract up to 60 species of pinatas back to the island and they would come and inhabit it. It's almost a simulator. This is a social party type game where there's 40 mini games included. Games like racing or lighthearted combat games. There's even a game challenging you to eat as many candy apples as you can in one minute by button mashing to chew the apple, but you have to rotate the apple in your hand at the same time to make sure you eat all sides of the apple. So these are lighthearted games that are social and fun and approachable and can be enjoyed up to four people at a time in your living room, or you can play these games over the Xbox Live service multiplayer as well. And we've also got Seen It Lights Camera Action, which is a movie-based pop culture trivia game, which is fun for everybody. So there's different types of puzzles. This is one example. So we need to guess the name of the movie based on the picture clue that they'll give us. And you have to put it together to guess what title it is in reference to. Cone heads, right? Cone head of lettuce. The Royal Tannen Bombs, right? Royal Ten N Bombs. Bat Noose Bears. So in some cases, you don't even need to know anything about the movie to be able to guess which movie it is, because it's more to do with, can you identify a pictogram? You don't have to be a hardcore gamer. You just have to love movies and love pop culture to enjoy those games. On the Games for Windows side, we've got two expansion packs to richen and deepen the content of two games. On Zoo Tycoon 2, we've got Extinct Animals expansion pack, which introduces 30 new animals that have since become extinct. You can learn about these animals, figure out how to bring them into your zoo, make sure that you don't let the T-Rex get out of the zoo and ravage the other animals. You'll have to bring them back to his cage. And on Age of Empires 3, the Asian dinosaur we've introduced three new cultures that you can play, whether that be the Japanese, the Chinese, or the Indian cultures, and engage in epic warfare in the Far East in the 1500s. This is a Sidewinder mouse, state-of-the-art gaming mouse that is fully customizable. You can change your DPI on the fly, which means your mouse speed. You can go from slow, medium, or fast, preset those depending on the type of game you're playing. You can also, using certain mouse buttons, record macros into the mouse so that as you're playing games, you can execute commands very quickly and easily on the fly without slowing down any gameplay. So the mouse does also come with additional mouse pads and weight so you can change the way the mouse feels on the table or the weight of the mouse in your hand depending on the type of game you're playing and how quickly you want the mouse to move around. So quite simply you just pop the feet off using your fingernails and can replace those very easily by snapping these new mouse pads into place and all of a sudden you will have a different feel with your mouse on the table. You can also customize the weight of the mouse by simply pressing the release button on the weight tray below, which slides open to reveal three slots for weight. You can add an additional 10 grams here and slide that back in. And just like that, you've got now a heavier mouse, slower, more control feel.